Okay guys, I'm gonna show you how to do a gap free cut install on this. I've already prepped this glass. This is 91% isopropyl alcohol. I barely spritz it on there. I'm gonna take this lint free window rag and I'm gonna wipe this glass. The reason I'm doing it that way, I barely spritz it on there is because I don't want any water running and puddling up down in here to float debris up. This is a painter's tack cloth. I'm gonna barely lay it up here. If you press too hard, you'll leave a film on the window, which is okay, it doesn't matter. I just prefer not to. I pick up any lint that may be on there. I always overcut my film pattern. Again, I spritz the glass with just a little bit of solution. That's it, that's all it gets. I always cut my patterns big so I can trim them to fit. Once I get these on there, I spritz this again. I'm careful to try to get the film down to where it goes seated at the bottom. I'll make a pass across the bottom. And the reason I do that is because I don't want water passing this line, I call this Rubicon, pulling an open turn. So we get this down here like this, I tack it off, I'm putting very little pressure on this. The reason for that, I'm letting the water catch over here in this corner, run down and run out. The actual, there's a trap hole in this glass frame that lets water run to the outside. So I've got this bottom down where I want it, got it seated. You notice I'm not going way up to the top, nor am I getting this whole edge over here. Now, we'll take my blue frog, my knife with a 30 degree blade. I'm gonna snap a new edge. This may look odd. I'm usually up in the truck doing this. But I'm going to do this from here. So maybe you guys can see. I'm going to take this frog. I'm going to ease this up. I don't cause a big commotion. Try not to disturb anything that may be floating or lurking around. I run my blade out three clicks. I take the tip of the blue frog. And I follow the tip with this knife ever so easily. So I can get my final trim on the inside. Now if you prepped your window right, this will come out correctly. If you didn't, you're going to catch a bunch of debris. These trucks were brand new when I started tenting in 84. And uh, we done a bunch of them. This is an aftermarket back glass. So I cut the pattern for it by hand. I just oversized it just a little bit. And I'm steadily working that up in there real easy. You see how it's folding up in there? If you try to jab it or gouge it or whatever, you're, you're asking for trouble. Now I'll put that up and I'll raise it up so I can see what I got going on here. I go up in here and I start trimming this way. I'm going to bring the frog in front of it. Now that's cut. I'm going to leave that dangling. Put me a little solution there so I can get my squeegee wet. I'll bring this across. Technique is detrimental when you're squeegeeing because you can control where the trash goes if you do this correctly. If you don't, then you can have issues.
and we're going to take it. This is a sledgehammer, but it's been heavily modified to my liking where it works on this. But this is a, uh, when it comes to these small windows like this, these are almost like French panes on a home. You can't beat this tool. show you something if you get the right angle on this we can turn it way up in this corner you can see a light gap right here and I'm going to show you why it's because the rubber has pulled away from the corner of the back glass same as it is right here because this thing is old this is a cherry y'all see this but you know what he's getting a fine tent job there's no trash in that Always likes to send her glasses. I may video this and I may not. Thank you guys.